Hey guys, welcome to the Versa Day. Well, welcome to the channel and welcome to the Versa Day 26. Colossians chapter 4, verses 2 through 4. So continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Meanwhile, praying also for us that God would open to us a door for the word to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in chains, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. So this is from the Apostle Paul's, you know, uh, letter to the church at Colossae, um, you know, the church of the Colossians. And, you know, it talks about praying, praying fervently and praying vigilantly. So, you know, Paul prayed fervently for the Colossian church for it to succeed, and it did. It really, it really succeeded. It really thrived, which as Christians, we need to be praying like that. We need to pray vision, vigilantly as the Colossian church did to make sure that, you know, our prayer life, one, is a healthy one because, you know, praying, you have a direct line of God. You know, um, my pastor brought this up the other day at church. You know, imagine if you can make a request of the Oval Office of the President um, at any time you wanted. Well, you could make a request, you could talk to, you could thank the Master of the Universe, the Creator of everything, with just praying, just any time. Not even having to, you know, excuse me, you know, bow your head or whatever. Just talk to Him. Just talk to God, you know. So pray fervently. We need to pray vigilantly as Christians as they prayed vigilantly, you know, pray every day, you know, speaking, thanking, requesting of God, you know, give him thanks, just talk to him, you know, talk to him about what you're thankful for, you know, thank him for everything he's doing in your life, just, you know, make requests, and, you know, it'll all lead to prosperity, but make sure you pray with thanks for what God accomplishes in your life and our lives, because if you're not thanking him, then what are you doing? You know, God upholds us every single day. So thank him. You know, that's the most important prayer you can make is thanking him for what he's done in your life. Because, you know, 10 times out of 10, it wasn't just you that did something. It was God pushing you to it. It was God helping you. It was God setting the pieces there. It was God protecting you from people that wanted to bring you down. Whatever. He's always going to help you. So thank him. You know, so... Paul asked for God to open doors for them through the word for preaching. So um, pray for your pastors, you know, pray for those who are going to preach the word to others, that they preach the right word and not, you know, bad doctrine or bad scripture, um, false teachings, any of that, you know. Pray for, you know, pray to God if you're going to open up the Bible and read it for him to give you wisdom and discernment while you open it up that you can understand it to open up his scripture to you, so. Pray for your teachers, pray for your pastors, that they can, you know, get the word out there, right? And, you know, it says, you know, Paul was in chains, so, you know, Paul wasn't afraid of imprisonment. He would pray and preach even if it meant more harm or prison. So, you know, he didn't care, just like we should be. We should not care um, about what happens. You know, God is the most important thing. He will uphold us. We should not worry about being put in chains we need to always be for God no matter what no matter who's trying to bring us down be for God be strong in God and you know that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak so you know pray and it will manifest God will make it happen so pray to him thank him make your request to him and don't take advantage of this you know and just Pray to God, love him, have a relationship with him, and you'll see it's all the better for it. So thank you for watching, guys, and have a blessed day. Peace.